Before I start, I would like to acknowledge that we're gathering on the lands of the Ghana people and we pay our respect to their elders, past, present and emerging. So um, I'm really happy to see so many students here this morning. Uh, this is great and uh, on behalf of uh, the College of Humanities, Arts and Social Sciences, I would like to welcome you to, to this, uh, to the, not only to the university but also to this session. Um, my name is Eric Bouvet. I am uh, the Dean Education for, for the college. So basically, a Dean Education looks after students and looks after courses uh, in which you will be studying and uh, also um, after the topics you'll be, you'll, you'll be enrolled in as well. So um, we're absolutely delighted to have you here. I just want to make sure that everybody who is here is actually... Uh, at the right place. So anybody studying nanotechnology here? <laughs> nope. Nursing? Okay, what about creative arts? Creative indust industries? Okay, can, can, can I just have a look at people who are doing the Bachelor of Creative Industries? Excellent. Now you know you're the first court ever at Finders. So <laughs> congratulations everyone. Okay, so the, I think I'm going to be very short, but my, my message focuses on basically support. So it can be very daunting to start at university, to start at a university that you may not know. It's a big campus. There's a lot of buildings, a lot of people, a lot of offices, a lot of teaching places, spaces, and it can be a bit difficult to find their way around, especially in the first few weeks of the semester. But there is help, and we've got help in various ways. So. Uh, one uh, very obvious help uh, comes from the, the teaching staff and the lecturers and the tutors that are going to be uh, teaching you in your classes, and they're all at the back there. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's going to test my memory, but we've got Shane and Jason and Katie from Veed. We've got Amy from Creative Writing. Uh, we've got Sean from Creative Writing. We've got Tom from uh, Screen Production, and we've got... So you've got, you've got two hats. No, no, you've got two hats. You, so drama, theater, creative writing, and, and drama theater as well. Uh, so uh, Alex and Sarah there. So they are wonderful people. They've got heaps of experience. They're really engaging. They're really fun to be with. I mean, if I could, I would take the classes, but I can't, unfortunately. So that's, that's the first you know, the first level of support that you can get, you know, if you, there's anything you don't understand about call your course, your topic, you can always uh, get in touch with them. The, the other level is at course and discipline level, and we've got those two very fine gentlemen here. Both are actually Nicholas. <laughs> and uh, so we've got here uh, uh, Nicholas, who is the, uh, the, the course coordinator for the BCA and BCI, and we've got Nicholas here, who is the discipline lead for creative and performing arts. And they're going to talk to you about very important things in a, in a minute. But last but not least, we've got, we've got also representation from our student services here, Joe and Annie. Can you just raise your hand? Now, these people are the real problem solvers. They are the ones who know everything. Uh, about anything, so anything with timetabling, with where you know your class is, where you're not sure you're in the right topic, you want to change topic, you want to change course, you want to go part-time, you want to study during uh, summer, whatever, they know it all. So don't hesitate to go and, and talk to them. And I think that's it from me, so I wish you a fantastic year, and without further ado, Nick and Nick. Thank you very much, Eric. Um, as I said this morning, none of us can claim to uh, follow that up with a, a, a beautiful French accent like Eric's, but we'll, we'll try. Um, so I'm, I'm the Prescott of the two Nicks, um, otherwise known as Bob Ross Jr., um, hair guy, uh, various other things. Anyway, um, as Eric said, I'm the coordinator of the two suites of degrees, and it's my delight to welcome you as well, to add my welcome to Eric's. Um, I've got just a couple of things to say um, before we start. And as Eric said, the people in the Bachelor of Creative Industries, you are the first cohort for this suite of degrees this year, so very well done. 
There is some, just to quickly go through, you can see there, I won't read them all, um, other than pointing out um, these four degree specialisations here. The DA stands for dual award degrees. Um, they are degrees we run in partnership with our colleagues at TAFE. Uh, so, but probably none of you will be here. Is anyone from the dual award degrees here in this room? Or downstairs, I, okay, I wouldn't have thought so. Uh, we had a session for them this morning. So the, um, the three groups there and the um, six on the, on the right are what you guys represent and we very much welcome you and look forward to, uh, to teaching you throughout your time here at Flinders. I also congratulate you on choosing Flinders. Now, I wasn't asked to say this, but um, I do think you've made a wonderful choice. I started here as an undergrad. Um, well, four years ago, <laughs> um, and I've stayed ever since. And uh, I think it's a wonderful institution. I've taught at the others, and with no disrespect to them, I think Flinders is by far the best one. So well done you for choosing uh, to come here. Um, I want to, uh, oh, actually, this is Nick's stuff now. OK, I want you to hand you over to Nick Godfrey, Teaching Program Director for the Creative and Performing Arts and uh, Discipline Lead for Screen Studies, and Nick will talk to you through some more info. Thank you, Nick, and I'll just reiterate once again, thank you for coming and welcome. It's great to see so many people here. I'll just elaborate a little more about the difference between the BCA, the Bachelor of Creative Arts, and the BCI, Bachelor of Creative Industries, in case you're wondering, well, these specialisations look pretty similar to me. What's the difference? For those of you who've applied for the BCA and are now here, perhaps you'll remember, you'll know that there was a portfolio admission requirement to get into the BCA, Bachelor of Creative Arts. So this assumes you've done some prior work within your chosen area of specialisation and you're ready for some fairly rigorous hands-on training within that area. The BCI still has some of those hands-on production or workshop-based creative topics but complements them with a suite of critical studies classes which may be, you know, history analysis within your chosen form and also has the flexibility to include some electives. So let's say you're in the BCI film and television, you have room within your enrolment to also take some classes in drama, some classes in creative writing, whatever it is that interests you. So the BCI tends to be a bit more flexible in its curriculum than the BCA. That said, you will still be in a lot of the same classes together across both the BCA and the BCI. So um, as everyone said, the BCI is its inaugural intake for those of you who are in a BCI degree. Um, I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to teaching you in many of those classes. But I'm going to give you some general advice for getting started at Flinders, things you could do today while you're here on campus with us. First of all, you're going to need a student ID card. This is very important for doing things such as borrowing items from the library, getting into your exams, if and when you have them, and printing. So if you haven't already done so, please request your student ID card via Okta. I'm assuming by virtue of the fact that you're here, many of you will have been on Okta already. If not, this is the main dashboard through which you can interface with things like Flow, which is where you can engage with your topic materials, uh, check your email, things of this nature. By the way, I say Flow, I say Okta. We're going to be throwing a lot of acronyms at you throughout this session. You know, try not to get too stressed out. Keep up as you can. But I mean, really, within a few days, I think you'll be up to speed with this and it will all make sense. So stop me if I'm going too quickly. But other important thing you'll need to do if you haven't done so already is you need to enrol in all of your topics for semester one, keeping in mind that most of them start next week. And we suggest that you enrol as soon as possible because there's a capacity for certain classes and tutorials. Once they're full, they're full, and you don't want to miss out on the time that best suits you. So please have a look at this students.flinders.edu.au website, search the enrolment details that are relevant for your course, and make sure you're enrolled in those classes. And I note once again, we have Joy and Annie here, if you can just wave once again. They will be out on the courtyard after this session and they can answer any specific questions you may have about your enrolment. And we also have the lecturers here from many of the areas of study. Again, if you can't remember who's who sitting up the back, come and see Nick or myself. You've got good odds of remembering our names since they're the same and we can point you in the right direction for the lecturers in your chosen area. 
Textbooks, some of your classes will require textbooks. If you're not sure about this, you'll find out next week in your first lecture, but if you want to get ahead of that, this website, students.flinders.edu.au slash my course slash textbooks, will identify any required textbooks for, for particular topics. There are many options and ways to source them, noting that many of them are available physically in the library and perhaps in an online version through the library website. Uh, you can also purchase them from online retailers, or I would say look around and see if you can find them cheaply secondhand. There's a Facebook group for Flinders students to buy and sell textbooks from previous years, keeping in mind, you know, sometimes students like to flip them the following year, so you may get a good deal there. Car parking. So, O week has free parking, which is good news for you, but from next week onwards, you will be expected to pay if you're driving to campus between business hours from nine till five. So I'd encourage you to look at the parking website to get a sense of the options that are available to you. You can buy a long-term permit. You can also purchase parking on a short-term casual basis through an app when you're on campus. So have a look. Also consider public transport. We have a new train station just down the hill. There's also a loop bus, keeping in mind, as I said, the train station is down the hill. It's a bit of a walk to get up here, but we do have a loop bus which links the various campuses, Bedford Park being where you are now, Sturt, which is down the hill that away, Flinders Medical Centre across there, and Tonsley, which is on the other side of South Road. Uh, you'll find dotted around the campus various stops for the loop bus. If you stand by one of those stops for long enough, eventually you'll be on the bus. About and oh, there you go, 15 minutes. And more information, once again, available on the website. Scholarships. Now, keep in mind, many of you will be eligible for scholarships for students commencing study in 2021, and you don't necessarily need to be a top performing student to apply for a scholarship. So I'd say now would be a good time before studies start to have a look at the website, see what scholarships you may be eligible for, and I'd encourage you very strongly to apply and put yourself forward for one of those scholarships. Now, Wi-Fi. Anytime you're here on campus, you can log in to the university's Wi-Fi network. The network you need is called EduRoam. If you select that from the list of Wi-Fi things that are available to you, you log in with your fan, which hopefully you know by now, but if you don't, you'll be Come acquainted with it very quickly. Your fan consists of the first four letters of your surname and then a series of four numbers. So that's your username for the Eduroam Wi-Fi network. The password is your university password, which you would have set the first time you went on to Okta. If you haven't, again, this is something to do this week. And I can see this is the really important slide, which has captured <laughs> your imaginations and attention. While we're on this, one other very important thing to keep in mind is that the main way the university is going to communicate with you is via your university email account, which once again is something you can access via Okta. Important announcements will come to you there. It also may come in the form of flow announcements on the topic pages associated with each topic that you're enrolled in. So every class which you take from first semester will have its own page on flow. You will get announcements there. They will also come to your email, but it's your responsibility now you're here as students to make sure that you regularly check check that email, particularly in our COVID uncertain moment. You know, things may change, rooms may move. This is important information that you need to know. So once again, it's your responsibility to regularly check that email. And now I've said the, you know, really important stuff about the email, about the Wi-Fi, I'm going to pass back to Nick and he'll give you even more information. Thank you, Nick. Um, I would, just a tiny thing to add to the Wi-Fi information. Some devices, particularly phones, will, when you first try and log on to EduRoam, tell you that there's a certificate that isn't trusted. Uh, you need to trust, you need to tell your device to trust it. I can in assure you it is entirely trustworthy as a network, uh, but some, some devices are a bit finickety and find EduRoam and say, hang on, the certificate isn't in my memory bank. Just say, trust that in the first instance, and then you'll be fine. Um, okay. There's a lot of stuff going on this week. And 
We are bombarding you with information. We're, we're very much aware of that. This presentation will be turned into a PDF and emailed to all of you um, in the next day or so. So I know there's people taking photos of, of the all-important Wi-Fi slide. Um, you don't need to do that. Uh, we'll, we'll get everyone a copy of this as a PDF. So there are tours of the campus. As Nick said, this is a really large and rather labyrinthine place. Uh, lots of buildings, some way up the hill, some down at Sturt, and so on and so on. People get lost and mix up social sciences north with social sciences south and find themselves on the wrong floor and all that sort of stuff. It's very easy to get lost, but it is also, um, once you find the spots that you need to hang out in, very easy to find your way around. Don't be shy at any point to ask, to just stop someone and say, do you know where North 3 is or whatever? Um, we are always more than happy to help. And of course, all of our friendly lecturers at the back will um, um, be very happy to help you with directions. There are tours, as you can see, um, between 10 and 3 this week, leaving from the tour booth at the plaza, which is the huge space down there where you've heard the music from and heard our, our dear Peter wandering around giving information and announcements. Uh, the Welcome Hub is uh, there as well in the Student Hub, which is the, actually the large building next to the plaza. Uh, there's another Welcome Hub at Sturt and another one at the Flinders Medical Centre. So uh, all this week you can access a bunch of resources there and get hold of directions, maps, all sorts of other things. Um, you can also look again on the OCTA site at um, uh, the orientation, um, finding your way at Flinders. There, there are a bunch of resources that have been turned into online tutorials and a lot of online videos now showing you how to do various things. Uh, please do familiarise yourself. There's a lot of stuff on OCTA. As Nick said, it's where you get your email, it's where you log on to Flow Flinders Learning Online. Each of the topics you're enrolled in will have its own Flow page with weekly readings, with links to external resources, online discussion pages, and so on and so on and so on. So uh, I add my entreaty to Nick's, please do keep up with your uni email and with your announcements in all of your different topics. Crucial information goes out there all the time. Um, make sure you keep up with that. It's the, uh, the sort of main line for information. There's a bunch of support for all sorts of things here, including financial support, career advice, uh, help with um, well-being and mindfulness, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and again, there's a website there uh, that you can go to to find a bunch of those support resources. Um, it's interesting and rather sad that we have to put this slide in. Um, in the old days, we used to simply say. Uh, online in our discussion panels and so on and so on and on our flow pages, nothing racist, sexist or homophobic will be tolerated. Nowadays we have to talk about stalking and cyber abuse and even doxing, which I had to look up. Um, not nice. Uh, anyway, uh, there is quite seriously an absolutely zero tolerance for any of this kind of behaviour. Bullying of any kind is something that is just not, not <laughs> a thing that's going to be accepted here at Flinders. So if you find yourself um, in any way uneasy or subject to any kind of pressure or bullying that you're not comfortable with, there are all sorts of support mechanisms and they're mentioned there. Again, the Safety on Campus webpage gives you a whole lot of information. Another tiny tip, if you're here very late in the library or in an editing room and you're, you've parked way up in what we affectionately termed Siberia, um, car park three way up the top of the hill near Stirling. Um, uh, if you've parked way up there and it's really late at night and everything's dark, you can actually call security and they'll they will drive you up there. You can meet a security person, they'll take you up to your car. So uh, there's, which I think is wonderful. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of support to make sure everyone's safe. Students with disabilities, there are many support mechanisms for anyone who has any kind of disability that affects their ability to study. Uh, the disability support, uh, there's a disability liaison officer. If you go to this website, you can find out all about that and about how to get what we call an access plan, uh, which is a document that explains to your lecturers that you have a condition that might affect your study and that you might need extensions, other, um, for other uh, support mechanisms and so on. 
Um, okay, so orientation. This week, make sure, as I said, there is a lot going on, but there are other weeks as well that uh, focus on slightly different things. So again, I won't go into this in, t in too much detail now because uh, food awaits us outside. Um, I'm, a I'm reliably informed that they're fruit cups and brownies out there and bottles of water. Um, and we'll be out there and I'll talk about that in a sec as well. So go to the orientation page too. As I said, this is all gonna be emailed to you. You don't need to write down the addresses necessarily, uh, but keep up with what's going on week by week because there are often, you, you walk down into the, into the hub or into the um, plaza and find that there's this great big thing happening and what is it? It's, uh, it's always something that may possibly benefit you. Social events this week. Peter down on the, on the plaza has been talking about a lot of these. The quiz nights are a particular favourite of mine. Um, there's a lot going on, uh, community market, etc., etc. So um, uh, have a look at those as well. We've been talking about logging on, logging on to Wi-Fi, getting on Okta, looking at Flow, etc., etc., using all these acronyms that Nick mentioned as if they're second nature to you as they are to us. We know they're not yet, and as I mentioned before, there are video tutorials showing, how, showing you how to do a lot of stuff that you'll need to be able to do while you're here. Uh, again, look, at, look on the website and, um, and take advantage of those. I also wanted to mention the, the queer space. Um, LGBTIQ students uh, have a lot of support here at Flinders. Um, there's a space over near the Flinders University Students Association office in the hub that is a, um, a place for LGBTIQ students to um, study, to relax, to get hold of various resources, etc. So do um, take advantage of that as well. And there's a website there too. There are also mentoring programs. Um, Again, I don't have time to go through them in detail, but to make sure that you're aware they exist. Uh, it's, I guess, where we um, will probably have a fair few um, offshore students <laughs> this year, sadly, with the COVID stuff. But um, again, there are all sorts of mentoring possibilities for people in different situations. Have a think about them if you'd like to avail yourself of, of them. Now, if you have questions, um, I'll do the name thing once more and ask people to put up their hands. From visual effects and entertainment design and digital media, there's Shane, and next to him, Jason, and next to him, Katie. Um, from creative writing, we have Amy there. We had Sean, but he's disappeared. Oh, he's in the courtyard. Oh, he's hungry. Okay. Um, from screen production, there's Tom Young. Um, Alex Vickery Howe is there with his arms very meanly crossed, what's going on, um, uh, from drama creative writing and Alex just does everything, I don't know. Um, and, and our wonderful Sarah Peters there um, from drama too. So um, we'll all be out in the courtyard to answer questions about who have I missed? Whom have I missed? Oh, Helen. Oh, my God, I didn't see you come in. There's Helen Carter, who's an award-winning cinematographer and part of our screen production team as well. Helen is amazing. Ask her questions about screen. And, and, and Will from Drama as well. Oh, my God. Wow, everyone's here. Oh, that's great. Um, so we will all be outside uh, and ready to answer questions. Please come, have something to eat, grab, grab a bottle of water and a gift bag.